This video explains how to change the position of a title in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain random numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines six and seven. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot, geompoint, and ggtitle, as you can see in lines nine to 11 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called myGGplot. And if you run line 12 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot is appearing. And you can see that at the top left of this plot, the title, my title, is shown. So the top left of a ggplot2 plot is the default position of a title. So if we want to change the position of this title to a different position, we can use the code that you can see in lines 14 and 15. So in line 14, I'm specifying the name of the plot object that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the plot.title argument to be equal to element text. And within element text, I'm specifying the age just argument to move our title horizontally and I'm specifying that this argument should be equal to 0.5. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the bottom right of RStudio our plot is updated because now the title is shown in the middle of the plot. So if we specify age just to 0.5 then the title is shown at the middle of the plot. We can also specify other hjust values such as one, as you can see in lines 17 and 18 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our title is moved to the top right of the plot. And in addition to that, it's also possible to move the title vertically. And for this, we can use the vjust argument as you can see in lines 20 and 21. So in this case, I'm specifying the vjust argument to be equal to three and this will move the title a little bit up. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our plot is drawn once again, and this time the title is shown again on the top left side of the plot, because we have not specified the age just argument. However, it's a little bit higher than in the default specifications. We can also move the title to a lower position using a negative value for vjust, as you can see in lines 23 and 24. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our title is moved inside the blotting area. So it's shown much lower than in the default settings. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.